Brock Purdy, is he a game manager? Is he a game changer? This was Cam Newton's commentary that Cam got into over the last couple of days uh, where he's basically calling Brock um, a game manager. And, you know, here's the thing on this. First of all, Cam doesn't want to be part of this. He's like, well, why are people ripping me? It would be the same thing. If I, if I started saying, okay, here are the top five content creators, people would immediately start comparing them to me. If I said, hey, who are the top five radio guys, sports radio guys in the Bay Area, people would immediately start comparing them to me. Um, if you're a quarterback and then you say, start co- you know, comping quarterbacks, of course, they're going to start comparing these quarterbacks to you. If Mick Jagger started quoting, started ranking rock and roll bands, people would rank everything in and reference the Stones. So it's just that's just human nature. So for Cam to be like, why is everybody pointing at me? They're pointing at you because you're pointing at them and they're pointing back to you. Um, but Cam Newton's catching heat for his commentary on a handful of the quarterbacks. He ripped Purdy, Goff, Tua, Prescott, and then he doubled down today and ripped Tom Brady and Peyton Manning and basically said they're game managers and not game changers. Um, And, you know, Cam owns a national championship. He's got a Heisman. He's got an MVP. He's won three division titles. He's got a conference crown. He had an 11-year career. He can comment on quarterbacks freely, and that's just fine. Obviously, he wants a job on ESPN or Fox. He sees how much those guys make, and he's like, why can't I make that kind of money? So this is all geared towards him getting on one of these shows. But let's just get right into it. Game manager versus game changer. I think that just does a huge disservice to Tua and Brock and Prescott and Goff. Goff's been to a Super Bowl. Tua's uh, operating one of the most explosive offenses in the game today. Prescott may win the MVP. If he doesn't, Brock Purdy may. Um, Very likely that Brock or Prescott represents the NFC um, with the Cowboys or Niners in the Super Bowl this year. And I just think that it, it's it's used as, as a pejorative. It's used as a game manager, meaning like you're somehow lesser. And then for him to double down on it today and throw Brady and Manning in there, I mean, it just takes it takes audacity. I mean, Cam had three winning seasons in 10. You know, I mean, three winning seasons. The rest of them are losing seasons. His career was done at 32. So I, I just I just don't believe that. Um, you know, and what is managing a game? I mean, it's just it's it's a ridiculous statement. Uh, Brock Purdy has changed the dynamic for the 49ers. If you want to, if you don't want to think Brock Purdy's a game changer, look what happened to the 49ers offense in the NFC Championship game without Brock Purdy. Look at all the rec- Look at all the quarterbacks under Shanahan, not named Garoppolo, were nine and twenty nine, and now Brock Purdy steps in. He's fifteen and three. You know, I, I think he's a game changer. He's been a game changer for this franchise. If tomorrow Brock Purdy got hurt, knock on wood, and he wasn't able to play the rest of the year, the Niners' chances of winning the Super Bowl would sink like a stone. You're not going to just sub in Sam Darnold and they're going to the bowl. No, they're not going to the bowl. I mean, that's what, in my opinion, I mean, Brock Purdy to me is much more than a game manager. He takes shots down the field. He leads the league in completion percentage, QB rating, and yards per attempt. He, if anything, he's the opposite of the check down guy, uh, the game manager. When I think of game manager, I think of Alex Smith. Why? Because he checked it down all the time. He wanted to check it down. Brock Purdy doesn't want to check it down. Brock Purdy rarely checks it down. So I just think that to call Brock a game manager um, is wrong. And and it's also, it's like, you know, to, to, to throw Tom Brady in there. I mean, you're talking about the greatest quarterback that ever lived in some people's minds. Um, was Joe Montana a game manager? You know, I mean, it's like, and then, and then Cam would call himself a game changer. So now what Brady is lesser than Cam in what world is that accurate? Peyton Manning is lesser than Cam in what world is that reality? You know, I, you could make an argument that Brock Purdy, if you just look at the numbers, the record, the completion percentage, the touchdowns, the yards per attempt, uh, the interception ratio, you look at any stat you want. Brock Purdy's been better in his first two years than Cam Newton was in his first two years coming out of Auburn. So I, I really got to push back aggressively on the Cam Newton. He's entitled to his opinion. We're entitled to call him an idiot for having that opinion. Um, and for him to just take side swipes at all these quarterbacks 
without really supporting anybody can have an opinion. It's how you support it. If you, if he had a great, if he had this opinion and he supported it with unbelievable facts and commentary, it would be one thing, but he's like, the 49ers are not winning because of Brock Purdy bullshit. They are winning because of Brock Purdy. <laughs> um, they are absolutely winning because of Brock Purdy. And if I, if I had to get Kyle Shanahan to sit right next to me in the studio and attest to that, he would. If I, if I walked into the Niner locker room and said, is Brock Purdy along for the ride or is he kind of a major cog? Everybody would be like, dude, he's driving the bus. He's absolutely been huge for the 49ers. So to sit there and say that, oh, you know, Brock Purdy's a game manager. That ain't, that's just not accurate. Um, Jared Goff, I don't even think's a game manager. I think Jared Goff makes plays down the field. Uh, Jared Goff can throw the pill. Tua Tagovailoa, I think, is not a game manager. I don't think Prescott's a game manager. And to then throw, to then double down today in this 10-minute retort uh, that now includes, you're trying to clarify yourself, now you add Tom Brady to the mix. Now Tom Brady and Peyton Manning are game managers, but Cam Newton is a game changer. I mean, seriously, I mean, it, it's, it's so wrong on so many levels that I don't even know where to start. So Cam, and then today he's quoting the people who do the hiring at, he's mentioning the people that are doing the hiring at ESPN and Fox. So I think he pretty much gave us where he's coming from. He's coming. He wants to be on Fox. He wants to be on ESPN. He knows the people on those shows are making a million dollars a year. He wants to make that Skrilla. He wants to make that cake. And so that's why he's making this strong statement. But it's people then push back. Well, you don't think Cam has a right to have an opinion? Of course he has a right to have an opinion. He absolutely has a right to have an opinion. But we have a right to sit there and tell him his opinion is ridiculous. And if you're really going to, you know, you're going to separate quarterbacks and you're going to take Tom Brady and, and Peyton Manning, two of the greatest quarterbacks of your era, and try to make it seem like you are better than them? you got to be kidding me. Your career ended at 32. Steve Young's career didn't even start with the 49ers till he was 31. So you had a short-lived career. In your biggest moment, you fumbled in the Super Bowl. You didn't fall on it. You made a business decision in the biggest moment of your game of your career. You made a even though you're the biggest, baddest, most physically dominant quarterback possibly in the history of the NFL when a ball fum when you fumbled a ball in the Super Bowl you didn't have the guts to fall on it so I mean that's not exactly the height of competitive fire that's not I mean that's your moment in the sun and you shrunk you that's that's as bad to me him not falling on that fumble is like Chris Weber calling the timeout in the national championship game against North Carolina that was Chris Weber's moment for a title, and he swallowed the olive. That was Cam Newton's moment in the sun, and he made a business decision and showed cowardice. I mean, come on. Seriously, that's what defines you. As far as this whole thing, you're going to rip these guys that are playing now and, and put yourself, despite the fact you played 10 years in the league, you only had three winning seasons, and you're going to put yourself in a game-changer category? You're somehow better than Brady. You're better than Peyton. You're better than Purdy. And you can't use stats because they have better stats than you. So, I, I mean, all, all I got to say to Cam Newton is, you know, good luck getting on ESPN. Good luck getting on Fox. Um, hopefully it all works out for you. You had, you know, you won the Heisman. You won a national championship. You won an MVP. You won three division titles. Uh, you went to the Super Bowl. You had an 11 year career. You're entitled to your opinion, but Prescott, Purdy, Tua, Goff, Peyton, and Brady are game managers, and you're a game changer? Really? That's rich. I mean, that's rich. So I, I, I sorry about that from Cam's front. Uh, don't get it. Don't understand it. Don't agree with it. And uh, simple as that. I just, I personally, I think that, uh, that Cam is trying desperately to get on these shows so he can make some of that big TV money. And I don't think it's necessarily going to work. So there you go. 
I think Brock Purdy is absolutely a game changer for the Niners. And if I had every 49er player and coach and executive sitting right behind me and we took a vote, is Brock a game manager or a game changer? They would say he's an absolute game changer for the 49ers.